Hey guys, okay, so in this video we're going to be installing the Amazon Seller app on your phone and I've actually uninstalled this on my phone and I'm going to reinstall it with you guys and show you step by step. So I've got a Samsung Galaxy so it runs on Android and you want to head over to the Play Store. If you've got an iPhone or something else, just go to your App Store. It'll be similar. So I'm going to click Play Store and in the search field you want to type in Amazon seller app so Amazon seller app just like that then you want to search for it and it's going to be the black one with the A tag. So there's going to be two types of apps that's going to come up. And there's a bunch of other ones as well. I highly suggest you use the Amazon Seller app because Amazon has created this app for themselves. So I trust that their data will be the most accurate rather than someone else uh, creating an app for Amazon. So this app was made by Amazon. So it's the second one. It's the one with the black with the tag on it. It's not the first one that's called the Amazon Shopping app. That's if you're a shopper and you want to buy stuff. You want to sell stuff to these people. So make sure it's the black one with the tag. And it will say Amazon Seller. And you just, here's what it looks like before I click Install. And you just want to click Install. And you want to Accept. It's going to do its thing. I'll just pause. Oh, it's actually done. I thought it was going to take a lot longer. Okay, so once it's installed, you just open it. So it looks like that. And I'm about to open it. Okay, so here's what it's going to look like when you click open for the first time. It's going to show you a bunch of flags. You want to click on Canada because you're going to be selling in Canada. So in this section, you want to input your Amazon seller username and password. So it's your email and password that you use to sign into your Amazon seller dashboard on your computer. So I'm going to input that right now and then click sign in. Okay, so then it's going to look like this and it's connected to your account on the computer and you're ready to scan in stores. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use the scanning app.